are at the Piaggio Museum and Piaggio is the company that owns Vespa. At least that's what I think. Uh, Vespa, if you don't know, it's a really famous motorcycle. It's like a scooter motorcycle and they drive it everywhere in Italy. Basically all of Southern Europe. But if you've ever been to Italy, you'll know what I mean. So we found this and it, I think it's actually in the old factory grounds. So it's pretty cool. It has a very industrial vibe and I think it's free. So let's check it out. We are inside the museum now and Max just fell asleep. So that's perfect. He should sleep for one and a half hour now. So we have a good time frame to watch this museum. It looks nice. Pinocchio's dad, the guy who drew Pinocchio, he is actually from around this area, so I bet that's how they got the inspiration for this Vespa. It has Pinocchio all over it, so I guess it's a local Vespa. That is a long Vespa. I don't know how long it is, but probably two and a half meters, so eight feet or something. That's funny. So I'm not from Italy. And I actually thought that Piaggio was just producing the Vespa. But they turn out to be actually huge contributors in developing the airplane, which is kind of fascinating. So we get the airplane history and the Vespa history, which is awesome. There's like eight buttons in there to press and that's it. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, there are eight down here, a stick, and then two on that side, two on that side, and then you can pull that thing. It says here that two students from, I think, this area bought this Vespa a long time ago, and then they were touring around Europe, and they actually met Salvador Dali, and they asked Dali if he wanted to paint the Vespa. And he said yes. So he did some drawings on the back of the Vespa and it's, it's pretty nice. I like Dali. So after they launched the Vespa in the 50s, they started to work on a three-wheeled model. They wanted to cater to all the people who want to transport goods but still have individual mobility. So it's kind of cool. So they, that's how they came up with these ape, ape, ape <laughs> little vehicles. They're not really cars and they're not motorcycles either. They're kind of a miniature truck and they have them all over the place still in Italy. So that is pretty cool. Look at this tiny fire truck. That can get in any streets, even in Italy. It's pretty cool. design. It 
it's the smiling helicopter. In the 50s, they made around 600 of these special made Vespas from the, for the military. They could be parachuted out of an airplane and they could run 200 kilometers on a tank and run up to 60 kilometers per hour. And they could shoot with this cannon thing. It's pretty awesome. If you're as big a sucker for old cars and motorcycles and just design stuff like that, then you need to come to this museum. It is great. Welcome to the Gilera section. Basically all their race cars. I'm always so fascinated by these guys who are extremely creative but also have the engineering abilities to build all of these things that they think up. Yesterday or the day before that we went to Luca and we saw this Da Vinci exhibition and he was kind of the same way. He had all of these, like he was a painter too and then he also designed all of these machines, like pistons and the ball bearings and all those things, he came up with that and I just think those guys are so fascinating and I wish I could be like that but is there a way to be that kind of person in an everyday way because <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna change the world anyway anytime soon or come up with a new car or a machine that can fly <laughs> anyways I just think they're fascinating those people and if you're one of those get started on your ideas I want to see them <laughs> I love the Vespas and they'll always have a special place in my heart but of all the things you can see here I think my favorites are these three because they are the speeding ones the, the ones that tested uh, race speed in and this one is one of the first helicopters which is just fascinating I've never seen those before In 1937, this bad boy broke the world record for a speed in a closed motorcycle type of thing to 270 something kilometers per hour. That's pretty crazy. Did you sleep well? Hey. I love how all the old factory vibes are still very much alive here. You can just tell that this used to be a huge factory and then that in there was an office. It's pretty cool. It's still an office. They kept everything. That was the Vespa Museum, guys. It's yep. definitely something you should check out if you're in the area. It's very, very cool. Lots and lots of cool prototype motorcycles and stuff, and even a helicopter. Yep. There's no airplanes, that's only on the outside, but yeah, it's cool. We really liked it, and um, it isn't super big, but it's free. Yeah, so you can spend an hour, maybe an hour and a half top. Yeah, if you're anywhere in the Luca, Pisa, Florence area, come check it out. That's it for this time, guys, and we'll see you guys in a few days or another week. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.